Today, I'm going to be getting my first look at the Joby Gorilla Pond 3K Pro Kit. Got this in the mail yesterday. Super, super excited about it. I've been using just the regular 3K tripod, just the, you know, the standard. But today, I'm talking about the 3K Pro Kit. But to me, there's a few selling points that I'm going to talk about today um, that just really did me in. Like, I, I saw that it had this, and I was like, yep, click the button, add to cart. So just like any other Gorilla Pond, you grip it, wrap it, stand it. This one has got some differences between it and the standard 3k kit i'm gonna make a full video comparing the two at some point but for right now this is just first look out the box not a lot of packing which is kind of nice all right so i'm gonna go over one of the main selling points right off the bat is that it's a little bit smaller but it still holds the same weight that is because it has the aluminum it's actually machined aluminum sockets so to my understanding you know you have your traditional 3k gorilla pod and with the plastic ones after a while they kind of break the, the little legs pop off sometimes um but, but to my understanding it doesn't happen with this one at least not as frequently, so I'm excited to kind of get this thing battle tested and see how that goes. And they say the uh, the the bending is a lot smoother, which this is my first first bend, and it feels pretty dang smooth. I mean, obviously it's fresh out the box, so it's gonna be gotta break it in a little bit, but set it up, boom, bam. Oh yeah, that's that's tough. I'm applying so much pressure. <laughs> One of the things I'm m number one most excited for is the metal legs, but another thing that I think is, again, one of the selling points for me is it's the Arca Swiss compatible ball head thing. And this little plate as well, I don't know what all of it's called, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is for the people that are getting kind of new to camera stuff, but compared to the other one, the regular 3K tripod, see it has a little button release and you pull this little thing out. That's great. This one particularly has a little has a little wiggle in it, and whenever I'm vlogging, you can actually hear that in the audio. So, sub-ideal. This one I really like, because you just untwist it, and boom, comes right out. And again, another selling point for me. One of the most annoying things about loading the camera onto the tripod is having to make sure you have a quarter on you, tighten it in, and get it locked in, but this actually comes equipped with a D-ring. So you just twist it on there with your hands, fold it back in, and it's slick, packed, and ready to go in you. And there's also some bits that are removable. You could take this top part off, but this whole ball head mount, you can actually unscrew it like so. And there's a 3 8 inch screw right there that screws onto the quarter inch screw. So actually the quarter inch, you can put your camera directly on top of it if you want. I wouldn't because it comes with the the ball head thing. Why not use it? So the price tag for this thing is approximately $160, give or take probably 10. I actually got it on sale though. I got it from the Joby website and they had it 28% off. So I got it for like 120 ish. So I got a good deal on it, which is why I bought it in the first place. Otherwise I would have waited, but I got a good deal on it. And one of the things I think that a lot of people have a question about is, is this worth almost double what this is? Cause it's essentially the same thing. This one's just generally a better quality equipment. And like I said, got to battle test it a little bit, gonna strap the camera onto it and see how it goes, how it feels vlogging with it and stuff. So from what I've heard, it's worth it. So I'm gonna put it to my own test and see what I actually think. All right, so now we're going for the vlogging test. Um, One of the things that people tend to really like about this thing, and so far I do too, the fact that you have the metal legs actually allows for a skinnier leg. The skinnier legs makes for an easier grip, so to selfie stick with it or to like vlog with it, you can actually wrap your whole hand around so it. So you have more control and you can get a steadier shot even. And along with the vlogging test, I've got to wrap it around. So like I usually, for the vlogs, I usually strap my tripod to this guy right here. A lot of times I'm unwrapping and I get a little too rambunctious wrapping, the leg pops off, so. Oh, see, that's real nice. It's that aluminum machined leg joints so they're not just popped in by hand or by whatever the way i understand it is it's actually all one piece but this thing wraps really well it appears another one of the thing oh it's so smooth so smooth one of the things i have trouble with too is i actually just did this the other day i was setting up a shot i was trying to wrap it to this board this post and it's square so obviously it doesn't wrap as well oh see that the other one would have already broken because i did this exact same thing yesterday and it broke again heavier duty so it takes a little bit less to actually get a sturdy shot set up so that's real nice so far so far, it was worth the price. But for, for doing the vlogging like I do on a regular basis, having the thin legs easy to grip and relatively quick to do is going to be really handy. And it's a, the tripod itself is actually a little bit heavier because you have all this bulk up here on the top. Honestly, it's kind of nice because you have that. It feels more sturdy to me. It feels more stable. Like my shot isn't shaky because it's sort of like my hand's shaking. It sort of weighs that down, if that makes sense. But that's all we're doing outside because it's a little cold. <laughs> my camera person's freezing to death. 
<laughs> so again, I got this for about $120. For the price, I think it's worth it because it's extremely versatile and it's, it gives you everything the standard 3K Gorillapod gives you, but like 10 times better. The standard Gorillapod, I think, is in the 50 to 80 ballpark, dollar-wise. Um, so this is a pro like, this is roughly double the price. I think with the legs, with the size, it's a little bit heavier, but honestly, depending on how you prefer. Personally, I think having it a little bit heavier is better considering my camera's really lightweight. So it kind of, I don't know, it feels it feels more sturdy to me. And then obviously having the mount with the D-ring. Truthfully, if I'm being honest, the D-ring by itself, I think is worth 120 bucks. Just having this alone, just being able to twist it in, not having to use a coin all the time, to me, makes all the difference. And it, with something like this, you know, you get it so close, the standard 3K versus the Pro 3K version. You get them so close together that the big differences are the little differences. So any quality of life changes you could do, they did and they made it better. This has officially made its way to being my everyday tripod, which that's why I bought it anyway. I'm extremely excited for the next few vlogs to kind of get really used to using this and get in a rhythm with it. So if you're, if you're new in the sort of content creation, filmmaking, video making space, and you need something that's easy to use. If you have the budget for it, that I will say for what you get. Like, I, I personally believe, because I have experience with the standard version, I believe this is worth every penny. If you're new and you don't need something extremely fancy like this, this one's just fine, and you'll save a lot of money doing it that way. That's what I did. I started off with a cheapo tripod, then worked my way up to the standard, then worked my way up again to this. Like I said, at some point, I wanna make a video com directly comparing this pro version to the standard version. So if you wanna see that, let me know. No, but I'm really excited. It, I just, oh, I, I just love holding it. I just love holding it. I'm so excited to use it. If you have any questions about anything I might not have touched on in this video, let me know down below in the comments. Ask it, I will get back to you. With all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.